The Aviation RC New Podcast presents Connecting Your T16 to the FT Easy Pack V2. Hi there. Uh, this is Foamy DM. Um, I'm also a host on the Aviation RC New Podcast. Um, I've recently had a question that I posted in the forums uh, how to control or how to connect the Easy Pack V2 from Flight Test. Uh, to my jumper T16 or Radio Master um, transmitter. So I have the jumper T16, and I have a model that I created for the C17. This is the early version one, and that worked with protocol GD005. But this is, um, I have a new plane called the Noob Wonder, and I wanted to make sure that we could connect with the big transmitters so we didn't have to use these small ones. Okay, you can see I have uh, a prototype model of the new Wonder right here. And I have the transmitter on. This is a V2 transmitter from Flight Test. We're going to turn it on. As you can see, it immediately connects. And then it is waiting for the throttle setting. And now we are ready to go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll turn this off because we don't want that to go anymore, and we're going to reset this. All right, still looking for a transmitter. All right, so now we get back to the bread and butter. So what we're going to do is you can see that this is, um, we're going to go to the model setup screen. You see it's uh, different versions. So let's go down to the protocol type. I haven't set up trans, uh, timers yet. But you can see <clears throat> that on the latest uh, build, V1.3.3.2, I use AETR mode. Um, I use the GD, where is it? The GD00X, and it is the V2. GD-V2, because there's a V1, right? And as you can see, it's still blinking. But when I go back and do the V2, all of a sudden the plane is ready to go. And so then what we have to do from here is we go down to the bind, and then we make sure that I'm ready to... Oh, it's already bound. We're good to go. Now... One of the neat little features, so one of the other questions I had is how do we set up the channels, right? Ooh. So I have these set up as lights are my switch on the upper right. As you can see, it turns the lights on and off. And I have a mode switch on here, which will do switch G which is in the back corner here. Let's go to the other page. You see that switch A here, or there we go, switch A in the middle. That's a, that's a kill switch. That way, um, when I don't want this to power up accidentally, I can put it at the top or anything other than the middle, and the throttle doesn't respond. All right, we've paged over. Now we're in the mixing screen. You can see that I have set uh, AETR. That's my default method. Um, but if you notice, channel 5, um, I thought was the mode switch, but it's not. Um, it is a trim button for left and right trim. So that way, while it's in the sky, you can trim it out. So set that to your trim 1. If you can see, that's the trim 1. That's the aileron trim. Okay, uh, lights are still channel 6. Um, they are set up as channel 6 here. And you'll see channel 7 is the mode switch. And uh, I have it set up so that the default position, it's really a two-position switch. The, the default position is low rates, and the other positions are high rates. And let's go back to um, the main page. And you'll see that uh, I have set up little notifications in the top bar that the lights are either on or off. That way they're, uh, let's see here, on, off, and it changes the value as well as my mode switch, which zero, 
zero is my default and 50 or 100 percent is the high rates and i also have a throttle percent timer so that way as i throttle up it spins battery but it does not do one second per second based on throttle percentage so if i go high throttle You see it goes one for one. All right, that way we can see roughly how long we're using the battery. It looks like I'm guessing we'll get about 10 minutes out of it. Um, let's give it a try in a little bit. Bye. All right, let's give her a go. See if she flies. Yep, she works fine. When you turn, you throttle off a little bit. Yep, working pretty good. And low rates, let's see if we can get it to turn a little bit. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer. Yep, I could probably do this for a while. Might get it caught in a tree again. Oh boy, always fun. All right, I'm going to bring it in. There she is. All right, thanks for watching.